should be launching now. Oh. Hey. What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Rocky Vlogs. We got a little something different for you today. Me and Pa Start drove out here to the edge of the Vandenberg Space Force Base to watch Falcon 9 Starlink mission launch. And yes, I know the hoodie is sort of inappropriate, but anyway, Postart saw a Delta launch in real life like eight years ago. I've never seen a real lock rocket launch in real life. So uh, here we are. We decided to just uh, up and hit it. We've been waiting for a night launch. Postart wants to try and get some cool shots. So I'm gonna try and get some cool shots. Postart's gonna try and get some cool shots. We're gonna watch a SpaceX launch. Press the like button. I never ask you guys to do that. But it's important. Press the like button. What do you think, Paul Start? I'm excited. Should we walk down, to... see what else we can film around here? Yeah, might as well. Yeah, we did Your sweatshirt's a little less offensive to SpaceX than mine is. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go do that. I'm curious how many like out-of-state plates we're gonna see. I feel like a lot of them are gonna be rental cars, so I don't think many. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. We were talking about this, it's so routine that it seems like there wouldn't be that many people and just a regular launch like this. But uh, we realized like a bunch of LA tourists are probably here every single time. So we decided to come join them. Wonder if anybody in the comments knows what those are. Yeah. All right. So Turns out we got here too late. Yeah. Dude, we should have just come straight here. Yeah. Because apparently you can usually go down to Surf Beach. We just assumed it was closed all the time, but we were just informed that no, that's not the case. Yeah. And usually you can just kind of go down there and you can actually see it on the pad and everything. Um, but right now we'll just be happy if uh, the clouds stay out of our way and they actually launch the rocket. So I guess we'll take what we can get. Yep. Okay, so this means the next one, we're just gonna take the day off. Yeah. Come hang out at the beach all yeah. day. Go swim in the ocean yeah. a little bit. Just vibe out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what's gonna be cool, actually, s a certain group of you will be super excited because this rocket is big enough and slow enough to track with a tripod. So a lot of dreams are coming true today. <laughs> so uh, enjoy this while we can. If you guys are real ones and you appreciate the shake cam, <laughs> Uh, this one's trajectory is pretty predictable and pretty easy to track from a tripod. So you want those nice nice tripod shots you go visit my friend Joe Barnard. All right. Yeah. There it is the tripod T minus four. It might be a little bit brighter out here than we, yeah. we thought which might help us. Four minutes left according to the live stream. Man, they'll do the low lighting on the A7. Good lord. Oh that is, God. is brighter on the camera than it is out here. Don't mind if you're hoping to see the rocket with your own eyes. It won't focus, ironically. Nah. We're now about a minute to lift off, so we'll to lift back off. to our live Dude, check the here on the other side. Yeah. That is crazy that looks sick. On the Falcon 9 itself. Oh. 50 seconds. I'm gonna put the camera up on the tripod. Yep.
shoot the jellyfish. All right, everybody. Well, that is it. First of all, Shane and I have to give a big shout out to all the people that do like real aerospace photography because as you saw from the clip, it's quite hard. That rocket is uh, when the engines are burning is quite bright. <laughs> but uh, it was so, so fun. Such a cool experience. We were a little bit closer than in my head I thought we were going to be for some reason. Hearing two miles and seeing it with a rocket that big were two very different things. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we definitely are going to have to get back down there and now we're kind of both addicted to trying to figure out how to do this well, at least through the initial boost phase. All the footage of the, uh, the jellyfish going on, I'm pretty happy with. And Shane got some crazy, crazy pictures of it and you can actually buy prints from him at rocketrypics.com that's p-i-c-s dot com but uh yeah my name is Braden carlson you just watched a rocket vlogs video if you want to see more real rocket stuff happening on the channel please let me know and we will do what we can please give me any excuse to go to wallops island and film like terrier malamutes and stuff because that would be sick uh anyway Press the subscribe button, guys. Press the like. It helps a lot more than you might think. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.